Uh, Nigel Cameron, the founder and president of the Center for Policy on Emerging Technologies. Welcome to Innovation Central on the Arts and Labs Network. Good to be here, thank you. Nigel, what are the crises now for our innovation economy? What needs to change to drive innovation in our digital age? We talk a lot about innovation in Washington. People talk a lot about innovation. And I think ultimately the question is how we can align the culture of the valley, the corporate culture, the assumptions of a creative entrepreneurial culture with the regulatory culture, which ultimately runs education, which runs the way the US relates to its trading partners, which runs the whole global system. It's bringing some sort of alignment between these cultures, which seems to me to be the key. The problem is we have hit and run approaches to innovation policy from the left and the right. Um, and we have two communities in DC and the Valley which basically despise each other. And this is not the way forward. What about um, creating though, the opportunity for innovation amongst entrepreneurs? How much legislation should we need? Is any necessary? I'm not sure whether we should be legislating for entrepreneurship. It does seem to me plainly things like the visa problem, and uh, problems in our public education are all contributing to a lack of entrepreneurial culture. Uh, I think we talk a lot about STEM education, which probably is an irrelevance, because at the end of the day, that is only going to influence things a long time in the future. Um, my suspicion is changes in our approach to visas um, probably offer us the best quick way to change the whole nature of our entrepreneur and basically, if you like, give us another whole generation of imported outsourced entrepreneurship brought into the US. What about uh, the entertainment industry? What needs to happen there in terms of encouraging innovation? I think the experience of the SOPA war, um, which I suspect the entertainment industry hasn't quite drawn the right conclusions from, um, but it showed how little our uh, regulatory and legislative establishment was able to cope with fundamental change. And I think it will be when the entertainment industry is much more at ease with the new media and with the new implications it has for IP and all the rest of it, um, that there's going to be a way for them to reframe themselves. In you know, many ways, this is a conversation between Southern California and Northern California. And it's very curious how powerful corporate culture assumptions are which lock people into these communities. Well, Nigel Cameron, the founder and CEO of the Center for Policy on Emerging Technologies, Thanks for appearing on Arts and Labs Innovation Central. Thank you.